In Lesson 8, students will design and create a lab that shows what happens to matter after it goes through a phase change. Students will have a better understanding of the law of conservation of mass by observing how mass is conserved after a phase change is complete. Using a plastic water bottle with screw cap, paper towels, two crushed ice cubes, and access to an electronic balance, students will create a closed system where a solid will melt into a liquid. First, put the equivalent of about two cubes of crushed ice in the plastic bottle. Screw on the lid and weigh the apparatus on the scale. Record the mass. Then wait for the ice to melt completely. After the ice has changed into water, wipe off any condensation from the outside of the bottle with the paper towel before weighing the plastic bottle again. Record the new mass. Then calculate any difference in mass. There should be no or very little change in mass from a solid to a liquid. Any difference might be due to experimental error, such as not wiping off the condensation before weighing the bottle, not screwing on the lid completely causing some gas molecules to escape, or using a different scale each time the apparatus was weighed. If you look at a sample class data sheet and the different calculations, you will notice that the change in mass from ice to water is very small. These results prove that mass is indeed conserved when a phase change occurs, and that the law of conservation of mass is true for all matter after a phase change has been completed.